How's it going today, guys? Jesse here. I started working on a second studio in my bonus room downstairs, and in addition to purchasing two new microphones, including the one you're hearing now, um, I figured it'd be a good idea, especially for, you know, music recording, uh, to buy a pair of wired headphones in 2019. And I kind of have a tight budget. I wanted to spend less than $50. Everyone online is buzzing about these One Audio Pro 50 studio mixing headphones, and they're supposed to offer an unbiased flat EQ, and I just figure it'll help me step up my game in terms of, you know, the quality of the audio in my videos and everything that I do. We're gonna check them out and see what the fuss is about. So just stick around after the break. The One Audio Studio Pro 50 headphones seem to be quite popular among budget-minded musicians and audio enthusiasts online. The box isn't much to look at, but inside you have two audio cables, one with a microphone to connect to smart devices, and the other is hiding something pretty genius, but we'll get to that in a second. The headphones are contained inside a pleather bag with the company's name etched on the front. I have to say I'm a little skeptical on how premium these are going to be, but people keep claiming that they're so great, I figure they're worth a shot and they're better than the earbuds that I've been using. I'm sure you can tell by looking at these that they're pretty massive, and these inch and a half cushions um, are supposed to be cloud-like on your ears. If you look, there's two plugs, so you can actually use the 3.5 and the quarter inch at the same time. There's this nice textured feel on the side, even though the headphones feel a little plasticky. There's plenty of rotation for DJs, or people that just want to wear a cushion on one ear. I can already see myself getting frustrated at how flexible these are, but I guess it could be a good utility to have. All in all, for my first impressions, I'm actually pretty impressed, especially because I have such a big head, these should be nice and comfortable. The black and red stitching is actually kind of attractive, and you can see on the inside you have L and R for the left and right side. They give you a red cable with a quarter inch plug on one side and a 3.5 millimeter in the other. This gives you the freedom to use one cable by plugging the quarter inch end into your headphones. You can use them with nearly anything that has a headphone jack. And reversing the cable allows you to plug directly into an audio interface. Okay, now for the comfort test. I'm gonna put on a hat because these things are so big and I don't wanna subject you to seeing what these look like on my bald head. So let's see if they're as nice as people say. Ooh, that's actually, that's actually really comfortable. You know, wearing earbuds so long, um, these feel really, really easy on the ears. Like, I don't even feel like I'm wearing headphones. So, I mean, for what it's worth, comfort, it's not a lie. These are great. So, I'm gonna pick something to listen to and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on how they sound. Ooh. The bass kicks in and it's just the right amount. It's not like overpowering. And that's how monitoring headphones should be. They're supposed to have a nice even sound where you can get the mids, the highs, and the low, and it all just sounds clean and seamless. Oh yeah, these are great. Oh. You know, Bluetooth compresses things, and so you miss out on a lot of little details. It's probably been at least 15 years since I've worn a good pair of wired headphones like these. Oh yeah. Ooh. See, I'm not trying to oversell them, but it's almost like an experience. Like, it's just so level. You got all your range in there. The lows, the mids, and the highs all come through really clear. These sound better than some beats that I've tested. So don't buy these if you want like overblown bass but monitoring headphones are supposed to give you every little detail, and these are doing that. Now obviously these aren't gonna be for everyone. It really depends on what you're looking for in headphones, but if you can respect an honest pair that gives you accurate sound, um, I really would have thought that these cost at least $100. So I think I paid like $35 for them. They're on sale all the time, especially this time of year. Now, I'm not going to be wearing them like this or, oh God. 
like this. <laughs> How do you? No, I'm not gonna be wearing them like this or like like this. Even the top cushion is nice and it prevents you feeling an immense amount of pressure on your head. These things rock and if you are looking for a good pair of uh, studio headphones or you just want to be distinctly retro and go against Apple with a uh, with some wired headphones. These are not a bad way to go about it. I can see why they're, you know, so raved about. There's uh, there's over 2,000 positive reviews for these online. If you guys would be interested in seeing my new microphones or my audio interface, um, just leave a comment down below. I love looking at this tech kind of stuff. Anyways, that's about it for this time. I really appreciate your support. Uh, consider liking or subscribing if you'd like to support me. And I'll see you guys next time.